Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ben. New month, new update. In this video, I will introduce all the upcoming news with the update V33 for Oculus Quest 2. This is a really fast video, no editing, no shit, because the update was released yesterday, so I don't even have the time to add my new... I didn't do that. As always, the old bug has been ignored, so you will find them all even in the new firmware, but what can we do? Facebook is focusing only in adding stupid social features, and most of them are pretty useless. And they totally refuse to fix the old bugs introduced with the previous updates. And what about all those phantom features? Yeah, I name like that because are those features that should have been introduced with the old updates, but where the hell are they? Anyway, with V33 update, there will be maybe a great new that, if will really actually arrive, will be one of the best ever introduced so far since the release on the market of the Oculus Quest 2. But let's check one by one all the new features. The first one is one of those news that made me say, hey, but I've seen this before. And I guess Oculus is fucking kidding me, pretending to add things that was there already, but so hidden in the menus that you cannot say for sure. Anyway, from V33 on will be possible to clean the cache of the Guardian and the chronology, see? I mean, I did dozens of times already. Anyway, if you experience tracking issue or your Guardian is not saved as it should be, you can clean the chronology of the Guardian, but the real new is that now, when you do it, you will wipe completely all the Guardian chronology from all the secondary accounts in your device. Finally, there is a good update for the browser. It's a safety system that will prevent you from going by mistake on a non-safe website. Just like Google Chrome, you will receive a message telling you that you are about to enter in a non-safe site so you can decide if proceed or go back. Nice update, but guess what? It's not from Facebook because it's powered by Google Safe Browsing. And be This new feature could be the best added so far, because I'm talking about a visual improvement for Link and Air Link. So this is only for those who use the Quest 2 as PC VR device with Link cable or in wireless using Air Link. These updates should make everything look more sharper. The text, the edges of the images and so on. Anyway, in few words, what you was doing using the debug tool as I explained in this video now should be automatic when you connect the device to the PC using the cable or in wireless using Air Link. But something telling me that we will keep using the debug tool. Another new is about the controllers, but it's only for Quest. The sleep time will be reduced. Now, when you put away the controller, the time to go in standby will be the same as the controllers from Oculus Quest 2. So, from the update on, the controllers from the two headsets will have the same sleep time. There is another improvement even for notification, and this is another déjà vu, because notification can be activated or deactivated in any time. You can activate only for some app, you can activate only to receive some kind of notification for example for message for app was already this feature so what's the new when you move a feature from a menu to another one is not an improvement or an update oculus and finally an update for the fucking stupid keyboard that i will never use not even to say help i'm about to die because i will rather die than using that keyboard anyway this update makes oculus keyboard more similar to the Google keyboard. So, web browsing powered by Google, the Oculus keyboard similar to the Google keyboard. Have you run out of ideas, Facebook? Anyway, now when you dig it the word, you will receive a suggestion to complete the word or the suggestion for the next word to add in text. So, you don't have to write anymore, but just click it. Anyway, I never used and I guess I will keep like that. 
Anyway, these are all the news coming up with update V33 for Oculus Quest 2. And as always, if you don't want to wait, you can manually update Oculus Quest 2 to V33, following this guide where I explain all the process step by step. So let me know if you like all the new features from any soul. Like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell. See you to the next one, and see you in VR. Ciao, ragazzi.